I know. Can you believe they even asked me? No, I don't do stand-up, no. I mean, I guess they think I'm a natural, right? Hey, listen to this joke. A buffalo walks into a meat factory and he's denied because he doesn't have any wings. <laughs> I mean, that's gold, right? That's gold. Oh, we're here. I gotta go. Oh, my first stand-up special. <laughs> well, actually, it's my first stand-up ever. Okay, time to get in the zone. Where, where, where is everybody? Uh, your name? Tony Hale, headliner for the night. Okay, you're not on my list. Okay, that's good, that's good. This is one of those bits they air before the special just to kind of get the comic juices flowing. I know what you're doing, I'm gonna play along. What, I'm not on the list? That's weird. Whoa, these are some heavy hitters. Ken Young and Sofia Vergara are opening for me? Gosh, I'm honored. Tony? Great, wow. Uh, Katie Couric, you're a comedian? I mean, your material is a little dark, don't you think? Well, I am usually talking about the news. Okay, I want to try some new stuff, and I'm a little nervous about doing it in front of such a huge audience, so what do you think about this? Hey, what the f is up? Tony, it's, it's <laughs> uh, Tony. Reese Witherspoon. What, she's doing a set too? Tony. Yes. This is stand up to cancer. What? And there's no live audience because of COVID. Yes. Y yes, I knew that. Yes, and I have a set for that. I can adjust my jokes. Honestly, cancer is no joke. Sure, yeah, So, of course. Bye, Tony. Oh, that's interesting. Anthony Anderson's on the list, and he's funny. I wonder how he got in, OK? I don't know how that happens. Yeah. Please, 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 just let me do my jokes. I came all this way. You gotta, just give me, just, there's got to be something I can do. Please, please. There might be one thing. <gasps> oh, yes, thank you, thank Read you, thank this. you. Yeah. Oh, come on, you got to be kidding me. From downtown Los Angeles, airing simultaneously on more than 60 participating media platforms across the United States and Canada, it's Stand Up to Cancer! These last 18 months have taught us not to take a single thing for granted. Value it all. Value every single chaotic, beautiful, complicated moment of our lives. And that's why we're here tonight. Unfortunately, cancer touches all of us. We've all got a story to share. Every day from every corner of this country, we lose 1,670 people to cancer. But we can end this heartache by supporting Stand Up to Cancer. And when you give, 100% of your donations received tonight go directly to fund groundbreaking cancer research. We are so grateful that more than 60 media platforms have donated their time tonight to help advance this research. So just stand up with us. And I do mean us. We are connected and scattered all over the world, but together in spirit and committed to turn every cancer patient into a long-term survivor. We are all here tonight for a reason, to stand up to cancer. Some of us are here because we're missing a loved one dearly. Some of us are here hoping for new advances in treatment and research. Some of us are standing up for science. I am here to remind you to get screened. Every year, I get my pap smear, my moles checked, my, um, my mammogram. I even, from time to time, get a colonoscopy. Talk to your doctor about the tests that are right for you. Please donate. We are standing by, ready to hear your reason for standing up to cancer. We're here to honor Tony's stepfather, Michael. It has never been easier to give for someone you love. So call the number on the screen, visit the website, or use the QR code. After you donate, you'll receive a link on your donation receipt with the chance to video chat with one of us. I'm here to stand up to cancer too because it's time to stop losing loved ones to this disease. Please donate as much as you can and let's do this. Let's stand up together. 100% of your donations received tonight will support this research. Let's end cancer as we know it and turn every patient into a long-term survivor. This is what's possible when we work together when we stand up to cancer. Okay, so how does Stand Up to Cancer work? 
Back in 2007, cancer research was really siloed and it was all about competition. But then, a group of amazing women who were fed up with losing loved ones to cancer pulled together the best doctors and scientists to ask if there was a better way. And there was, based on collaboration, not competition. So they created a dream team model, combining the best doctors and researchers so they would share data and discoveries, going after all kinds of cancer in new ways. Today, there are 120 different research teams supporting more than 2,000 scientists and doctors. But we need to do more to help our unstoppable doctors like the one you're about to meet. So please donate now while you hear her incredible story. Hi, my name is Dr. Rain Rouse. I'm a pediatric oncologist, but I'm also a physician scientist. Coffee, for good luck. I think most people have some sort of morning routine. I channel my inner LeBron, I channel my Jigga and Queen Bee. I really want to come into every day feeling like there will be no barrier to stop me in achieving what I need to for my patients and their families. Outside, inside, we don't stop. Go, go, worldwide, we don't stop. I'm unapologetically me every single day. I may not look or act like the classic scientists that people think of, but we're changing the way. This is the new face. Mommy, oh, you me. I typically start my day with seeing patients. My patients are everything to me. They give me the strength to carry on every single day. So I just got to see one of my patients whose birthday it was. We gotta celebrate, because you gotta be ready for college. Lymphoma does not stop college. So every day is a little different. I love nothing more than to give my patients good news. Hopefully you're <laughs> never gonna get any chemotherapy again. We are speaking it into existence. We could not stop smiling. We're so grateful. Happy time. There certainly are some ups and downs within a morning of seeing patients. I usually go over to the lab and check in. We're actually preparing these CAR T cells to be infused into a patient. This is the culmination of months of work. We are creating real and successful treatments that are literally saving the lives of children with cancer. Here they are. I absolutely do stay in contact with families of patients who passed away. I miss you guys so much. How are you no, doing? We're, we're okay. We're continuing to march forward. Taking it day by day. Yes, yes. that's the way. That's yeah. the way. Tell us who you are. <laughs> Mason participated in a clinical trial, and I remember him telling me, if this will help someone else, I'm down. When it appeared that the therapy was unfortunately not working in him, he told me, if my participation can help even one other child to not have to go through what I've gone through, then it'll be worth it. I think about Mason, and I think about you guys, and I think about your fight, and I get rejuvenated. I consider it a great honor to walk families through what will undoubtedly be the worst thing they ever have to go through. Thank you for all you do, Dr. Rouse. You're unstoppable. We were always blown away by that. I remember every single loss that I've had. I use that to not take no for an answer when it comes to treating childhood cancer. Today's been a pretty hectic day as per usual. My job is challenging, but I'm not unaccustomed to a struggle. I have so many strong black women behind me, whether I know them or not, who are lifting me up every single day, telling me you have to keep pushing forward. So that's what I do. We will never give up the fight, but we need your help. Please donate and help me and the countless other doctors, scientists, and researchers who are fighting every day for a world where kids don't ever have to deal with cancer again. There are too many moms like Mason's out there missing their child today. Please support all the amazing Stand Up To Cancer doctors and scientists as they work to save lives. Call or go to the website on your screen and give. And then please share your story with us. We want to hear from you. So follow us at SU2C on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, or YouTube. 
I'm Cody Summers, flight attendant for American Airlines and a breast cancer survivor. At American Airlines, our purpose is to care for people on life's journey, a mission that extends beyond the airline and into the communities we serve. That's why we are proud to join with Stand Up to Cancer in their effort to turn every cancer patient into a long-term survivor like me. When you donate $25 or more, you can receive 25 American Airlines Advantage miles for every dollar you give to Stand Up to Cancer in the United States. Learn more by going to the website on your screen. And when you use your MasterCard to donate for miles, American Airlines, with support from MasterCard, will match what you give, dollar for dollar, up to $1 million. How amazing is that? So please give now and support this life-saving science. <laughs> you want me to look at the like rectangular box? So you want very short answers. Oh no, come on. You want me to do it again? Repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my forte. My name is John David Carpton. Dr. Kimberly Stegmeyer. Dr. Edith Perez. I'm Andrew Chan. I'm a medical oncologist. And I focus on cancer prevention. People are always asking me, why? Why, why, why? Why do I do this work? Two words come to mind for me. One is responsibility. Mostly I'm excited to help people. The other is purpose. Every day I think of the faces of patients when I see their smiles, their smiles of their relatives when I tell them that new treatments are helping their lives. I've seen too many people's lives cut short by cancer. I lost my favorite family member to cancer. There was a child that, you know, I took care of and adored, and she said to me, Dr. Kim, you know, will you remember me forever? I do this so that the next generation of people don't have to have the same fight against cancer that we do. Sorry. <laughs> It's been a hard year. <laughs> Why am I? Why am I? Why am I excited about cancer research today? It's just incredible to see things move from the lab to helping patients in the real world. That's the best feeling in the world. It's just so inspiring to do research that impacts human lives. Cancer research saves lives. Why am I participating with Stand Up To Cancer? It's because we can't fight cancer alone. Stand Up To Cancer has been a critical partner in advancing research for cancer. The message for today now is, is hope. So please, help us fight in this battle against cancer. Now that we've told you why we do what we do, it's time for us to find out your why. Why are you watching? Why do you think your contribution might be needed? Why haven't you donated yet? And if you have donated, why don't you donate again? <laughs> Is that a wrap? Yes. All set? We did it. That was like the hardest thing someone's asked me to do. Hopefully I can come my way back out of this place. I love those doctors and scientists. In addition to donating to Stand Up to Cancer, there are other ways for you to give and help support our incredible scientists. If you're a cancer patient or a survivor, you can join a research initiative called Count Me In and share your medical and clinical information, which may hold precious clues to unlock new discoveries. Thousands of patients have already joined Count Me In to change the future of cancer research. You can too by visiting the website on your screen and joining Count Me In. Let's build a world where cancer is no more. Everyone's thinking about somebody they miss and cherish tonight. I know I am. So let's keep standing up together for them and give what you can. Tonight, I'm here to honor my sister, Jamie, who passed away as a teenager from retinoblastoma, a rare form of eye cancer. Jamie might have passed away over 20 years ago, but today I'm sharing my story because I know that together, our support of Stand Up To Cancer might help save young girls like my sister and millions more. Music has always had the power to inspire change, and tonight I want to celebrate an artist who used her platform to fight for social justice and equal rights, Miss Nina Simone.
Your donations can lead directly to cancer treatments that are giving families more options and hope. So please, donate now. You know what else Nina Simone sang more than 60 years ago? A civil rights song she wrote that had the lyric, you don't have to live next to me, just give me my equality. What a year we've had going after this law. And it does give me some hope that we're all starting to have a talk together when it comes to health care and cancer research equality. Look, I'm just a kid from Compton. No one came around and talked to us about taking care of our health. No one asked my family to get screened for colorectal, lung, breast, prostate, or skin, any kind of cancer. I lost my biological father and three of his siblings to cancer in the span of 18 months of one another. We go to doctors when we're sick, when it's too late. I stand here tonight because Stand Up to Cancer is determined to change these disparities. A critical piece to ensuring we have more equality in this country involves addressing health disparities head on. That's the reason Stand Up to Cancer, with help from a number of donors, launched its health equity initiative to work toward better and more equal access to cancer care for all cancer patients. We need to truly disrupt what's going on, especially with clinical trials. Here's something I just learned, and you ought to know too. Stand Up to Cancer is working with Genentech to make this happen. This is Genentech's mission. They take intentional action to help build a world where everyone has access to quality health care. They're committed to a future of science that's more diverse, inclusive, and equitable. And they want to address health inequity for all patients facing serious and life-threatening diseases. This is great. We all have to work together. And through a transformational grant by Genentech, Stand Up to Cancer launched a health equity breakthrough team called the Disrupt Team. It will increase diverse participation in clinical trials and make the community the newest dream team member, involving them in cancer research at the beginning. Continue the support needed to push these efforts forward and call the number on the screen to give now. So whether you have survived cancer or you're going through treatment or you have a friend or a loved one that's facing it, the truth is, is it touches us all. And the groundbreaking research that Stand Up to Cancer is doing is incredibly, incredibly necessary. So please support this amazing work and give what you can. Hey everyone, I'm here to Stand Up to Cancer 2. Uh, it seems that every couple years I have a family member that's diagnosed with cancer. Uh, we've all got a story and we're here to hear yours tonight. Tonight, I'm standing up for all the cancer patients who are a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Be brave. Be strong and know that we are cheering you on. We need to support this life-saving research so that each and every one of you can become a long-term survivor. When you donate tonight, you'll receive a link on your donation receipt with a chance to video chat with one of us. You can call the number on the screen, go to the website, or take your phone and use the QR code below. So please give what you can. We've all got someone we're standing up for tonight. My best friend lost his son to cancer, and I lost my aunt to cancer. So please, let's stand up together and find a way to support this research and save lives. I'm standing up tonight for my uncle, Raul. We loved him. He hung the moon. He made our family dinners and parties the best in the world. Please, give what you can to the life-saving work of Stand Up to Cancer. 100% of your donations received will go to this incredible research. We are standing by to video chat if you donate now. Let's do this. Let's end cancer as we know it. Hey, everyone. So I drew this map of the United States. Here's why. Your zip code in the US sometimes has everything to do with whether you live or die from cancer. Stand Up to Cancer wants to change that. Look at these three zones. You have one in Los Angeles, another in Boston, and another in the Great Plains tribal communities in South Dakota. 
Some areas in these zones have low screen rates and high mortality rates for colorectal cancer, especially for people of color. Tonight, I'm honored to announce that Stand Up to Cancer has created the CARES Dream Team. It's a groundbreaking initiative starting in these three underserved zones. They'll offer free colorectal screenings and community education. They're going to help prevent this cancer or catch it early when treatments are often most effective. And eventually, Stand Up to Cancer will create similar zones for other cancers in zip codes all across the country. So the map will look like this. One united zone going after cancer, bringing everybody in equally. Guess who supports this new work? Exact Sciences. They join with Stand Up to Cancer to launch these zones, working to provide colorectal cancer screenings and diagnostic testing earlier, enabling patients and providers to take action sooner and save lives. They're using science and technology to fight cancer. Guess who else is standing up? Providence and Providence St. John's Health Center in Los Angeles. They're also supporting Stand Up to Cancer Zones to get screening rates up, increase health care equity, and prevent cancer or catch it earlier. That means more people have better access to life-saving treatments. Thanks to their support and yours, these zones will turn the promise of equity into more cancer screenings and long-term survivors. You can be a part of this. Pick up the phone, go to the website on your screen, and give now. And don't forget, my friends are waiting to video chat with you when you donate now. I'm Yafit Smith. I'm Kelly Smith. And we were high school friends and teenage sweethearts. And we met sophomore year in 98. And the teacher uh, asked if there was a seat available. And I said, there's one right here by me. And Kelly came sat by me. And I liked him the moment I met him. Uh, <laughs> I did. Since then, it's been 32 years. 32, <laughs> 32 years. 30, 32. We went to our 30th high school reunion. It was a great night. And then a few days later, we in the emergency room. Everything changed. The doctor came into the room, asked our child to leave the room, and then heart kind of stops at a moment like that. And that's when we first heard the word cancer. Kelly got diagnosed with myeloma. You've got a, a cancer with no, uh, no cure. Um, that's really hard. I had all kinds of thoughts go through my head. You know, how much time do I have left with my, with my child, with, with you? We really are stronger together in the fight against cancer. I just knew I couldn't collapse, you know, for our child, for you. And so I did research. Through that process, we realized that we needed to get to a myeloma specialist that greatly increases a patient's chances of uh, survival, remission. Without research, I would not be in remission. I, I totally believe that because it's the research that drives new medications and new treatments that are more effective and that lead to, you know, longer and deeper remissions. What is really going on with myeloma, with people that end up getting myeloma? so that we can prevent the kind of pain that Kelly faced. Since African-Americans and family members of myeloma patients are more at risk for the disease, now we can test them and look to intercept the cancer before it starts. The thing I've learned about cancer is that it's not a death sentence. And I think it also has revealed how close we are. He just really made sure that I was taken care of. I never doubted that you loved me, mm. but now I really know, like, because you, you have done so much. Like, you, I do think you saved my life. 
Um, you could be a caregiver or you could donate to a charity like Stand Up to Cancer to make sure that we all work together to make things better. There's just a lot of dust in my eyes right now. What a love story. Support during a cancer journey is critical to making it through. But some patients face more barriers to care than others, which is why support from donors like Bristol Myers Squibb is also critical. They're committed to advancing health equity along with Stand Up to Cancer. Lung cancer is the number one cancer killer in the black community. Bristol Myers Squibb is funding lung cancer research teams and educational campaigns to advance care and increase clinical trial enrollment in underserved black and rural communities. Bristol Myers Squibb is transforming lives through science and playing an important part in working towards correcting disparities and reducing deaths. I'm proud to stand here tonight to knock down health care barriers, bring more equity and real change to our loved ones. Stand up, too. If the phone lines are busy, keep trying. Go to the website now. Join us and share your story. What shows more indifference than cancer? It's not concerned with where you live, what you look like, how old or young you are. It pays no mind to how much money you make and doesn't care whether you're a mother in South LA, a best friend in Brooklyn, or an international superhero. Many of us were devastated to learn of Chadwick Boseman's tragic passing after he privately grappled with cancer for several years. The world lost an incredible artist and a true hero. But before he was a public figure, he was a person like you or me a son, a brother, uncle, cousin, friend, colleague, husband. Many of us are all too familiar with the fracture a dearly loved one's passing leaves in the lives of those who love them. Here to perform a song about living with the reality of loss and finding a way forward is Chadwick's wife, Simone. Wishing well. 
We've always had villains to face. Bad guys to take down. But you? You're worse than all of them put together. You are the most horrible of all. Just because you're tough, it doesn't mean we can't beat you. We're not here because we have to be. We are here because we've had enough of you. It's not fun having to show you who's boss. Every single one of us is mortal. Even me. Even me. Especially me. But inside of us... We are all heroes. One person is not a team. But when we join together... Together. Together. You don't stand a chance. We are glorious. We're resilient. We are powerful. And we will win. We all have the power to do something. To change something. To stand up to cancer. So stand up with us. Stand up to fight. Stand up to win. It all happened at once. I quit my day job, Tran got pregnant with twins, two beautiful girls, Alexa and Zoe, and then she found a lump while breastfeeding. I was young and had no family history of breast cancer. I thought there was no way this could be cancer, but it was. I was diagnosed with stage three triple negative breast cancer. When I asked my oncologist if I was going to be okay, he couldn't answer me. And that's when I knew I might not survive this. Everything in our tracks stopped. I immediately thought about my girls and Ken. What are they going to do if I die? I had to confront the possibility of my own mortality. Tran was just so strong. And in fact, two days before starting her chemotherapy, she took her medical board recertification exam, an eight-hour test, and passed it with flying colors. The chemotherapy I was starting was new at the time. We had a long road ahead of us, but taking this test was my way of saying, I'm going to beat this. I'm proud to say that I'm cancer free, 13 years and counting. You are the reason I got involved with Stand Up to Cancer in the first place. And I'm here to celebrate you because you complete me, ho. <laughs> We're here tonight because we believe in the work that Stand Up to Cancer is doing. It's simple, science saves lives. Science saved my life. And scientists on all the different standards of cancer research teams continue to work behind the scenes on some really groundbreaking new stuff. They're training artificial intelligence to detect lesions undetectable to the human eye. Others are reprogramming your T cells into cancer finding machines. And together with their partners at the Van Andel Institute, Stand Up to Cancer has a dream team exploring something called immunoepigenetics that involves activating your immune system and switching key genes on or off to help destroy cancer cells. And their long-term partnership is making a difference in patients' lives. It's truly incredible. Doctors, scientists, and researchers are thinking outside the box. That's what it's going to take to end cancer. That's what it takes to make the impossible possible. Stand Up to Cancer came at a very critical time. Everyone was siloed, and sharing data was a very difficult thing. Now, we can credibly say... It's a collaborative effort. Dream teams. Immunotherapy. Convergence. Innovative approaches. Technologies and genetics. Precision medicine. Pharma. Clinical trials. Interception. Wonder. Momentum. Stand Up to Cancer really allows us to take chances, and they're okay with not all the ideas working to get that special one that's gonna make a huge difference. The war on cancer started in 1971. We did not think we had the tools to cure cancer. What's actually changed? Cancer doesn't have to be that death sentence that we used to think about 10 years ago. It's scientists, it's technologists, advocates, it's patients. We're all working together. Stand Up to Cancer has made team science the norm. 
And that's why Stand Up to Cancer is out there shouting, now, 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 <laughs> let's go. The first time in the last few years, we're starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. I'm looking at an amazing arsenal of diverse weaponry. Quantitative ways of thinking. Targeted therapies. Combination therapies. Tumor microenvironment. Bioinformatics. Genomics. Let's just push it and see what happens. Watch what's possible when teams come together and they're funded by someone who cares. Stand Up To Cancer started the revolution, but it's an evolving revolution. There's no turning back. One thing that makes Stand Up To Cancer unique is that they bring expert voices, diverse donors, and collaborators together to develop the most game-changing research. And thanks to their newest donors this year, Stand Up To Cancer will launch two new catalyst teams and a new research team dedicated to finding treatments for head and neck cancers, which are diagnosed in about 67,000 Americans annually. But it's not all about the numbers. It's about the people's stories that bring the reality of cancer's impact into focus. On the show in 2012, a wife and mother had just given birth when she found out she had stage four pancreatic cancer. She underwent an experimental chemotherapy which was approved by the FDA, thanks in part to Stand It to Cancer funded research and she beat the odds. But as it is too often with cancer, it came back last year. Fortunately, Elizabeth O'Connor once again received new cutting-edge treatments, and the most precious gift, more time. When I was five years old, my mom was diagnosed with cancer after she had my brother. I just remember her being sick a lot and in and out of the hospital. Press the record button. You press it. Okay, there we go. Now I got it. Hi, I'm Abigail O'Connor. Hi, my name is Angel O'Connor. I'm 15 years old. I'm 10 years old. And I want to tell you about my family. About 10 years ago, my mom was on stand up to cancer. I remember them coming to our house and filming, and that was the first time I'd truly seen my mom and dad cry. We've had so many good memories of the family in the past 10 years. My favorite memories growing up was taking trips to Destin because my birthday used to always be that week. So it was like I got to go to the beach for my birthday every year. Happy birthday, dear Abigail. Being able to fish with my dad. Your turn, Daddy. Good job, bud. One of my favorite family trips was when we went to Disney in 2018. It was our Christmas present. It's very exciting riding the roller coasters with my mom. Her laugh just kind of like carries. It's like, oh. yes. <laughs> That's why we make her laugh, to hear it, because it makes everyone else laugh. <laughs> Mom, how valuable do you think time is? It's a gift, really. Cancer research has definitely made an impact on my mom. We've been very fortunate to be able to be a part of a lot of new treatments that have given Elizabeth time to get to the next best thing. It's unheard of to live 10 plus years for pancreatic cancer. My mom is a fighter. She is always trying to fight for her life so she can be here with us. Push, push, you got it. Here you come. <laughs> Abigail, your brother. I love you. I can't put it into words how much it means to me to spend more time with my family, to not have that fear that I wouldn't be around. That's the most important thing to me, is that she's here. To the people watching at home, I would say thank you, and please 
donate so you can help more people like my mom. I don't know how my life would be without her. You really don't know how much time you have left with someone, so that time is very important. I'll love her forever. Elizabeth O'Connor's access to the latest immunotherapy drugs was vital to her. Stand Up to Cancer, since its inception, has supported many teams studying immunotherapy, one of the most promising areas of cancer research today. However, in 1998, pancreatic cancer patients had practically no effective treatment options. Since then, the Lusgarten Foundation has funded the science that has been a part of nearly every significant advancement in the fight against pancreatic cancer in an effort to transform it into a curable disease. And together with Stand Up to Cancer, they've created the Pancreatic Cancer Collective to fund even more critical research to give pancreatic cancer patients, like Elizabeth O'Connor, time and hope. I just want to take a moment to personally thank everyone who has already donated tonight. And I'd also like to thank someone who was there for us, our good friend, Bradley Cooper. Thanks, Ken and Tran. I'm here tonight because cancer touches all of us. I'm here because while there has been amazing progress in how we treat cancer, there is so much more that needs to be done. And I'm also here tonight because this year marks the 10 year anniversary of my father, Charlie Cooper's passing from lung cancer. He was uh, my best friend and there is not a day that goes by that I don't miss him. And that is something that sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, families, friends, and neighbors all around the world can relate to. Cancer touches all of us, and it's going to take all of us to change that fact. 100% of what you give goes directly to life-saving research programs. But the true impact goes way beyond that. You are giving hope to cancer patients and their loved ones. So please, give what you can, give from your heart, and let's stand together and end cancer. And to all my fellow Canadians who are watching the broadcast tonight and who have been touched by cancer at this hour, know that you are in my heart and I stand up for you. This year, we've made it easier than ever to donate. Go to the website, call the number, use the QR code. Do it now. And when you do, you'll receive a link in your donation receipt. And that link will give you the opportunity to video chat with one of us tonight. Stand up with us. We all have a story. I had a cousin named Owen. He had red hair as a little boy. He was a serious kid and he loved birds. In his 30 years, Owen taught me how to live well. Owen passed away from glioblastoma in January of 2020. I'm so lucky to have gotten to know him and love him during his extraordinary life. My father started cancer treatment earlier this year during what was an already very difficult year. Um, knowing that 100% of the money donated tonight goes to fund research and treatment is to know that that money might go towards helping my dad or your dad or anyone in your family who has been touched uh, by cancer. Join us, donate tonight, and thank you very much. I'm a survivor. I went to the dermatologist for a screening and they found a basal cell carcinoma. They were able to remove it and I'm okay. Let's give for all the survivors out there. Let me tell you about two people I'm thinking about. My sister Alexis, who passed away from breast cancer, and my friend, comedian Lester, who's going through his bowel cancer as we speak. Do me a favor, everybody. Get screened, all right? You can save your life and tell other people to get screened, too. And everyone, please, get on your feet and stand up to cancer. Stand up to cancer by donating tonight and by reducing your personal risk of developing cancer every day. If you smoke, quit. Watch your diet and get active. And most importantly, stay on top of your cancer screenings. Stand Up to Cancer and our supporter, Rally Health, want to help you reduce your risk of cancer by encouraging you to get appropriate screenings which can detect cancer early and significantly increase the likelihood of beating cancer and living longer. Go to the Stand Up to Cancer website to find out which screenings are best for you. At 28 years old, during a routine doctor's visit, my doctor felt a lump in my neck. They did a lot of tests and finally told me that I had thyroid cancer. When you're young and you hear that word cancer, your mind goes 
to so many places. But I tried not to panic, and I decided to get educated. I read every book and found out everything I could about it. I was fortunate to have caught it early and to have the support of my doctors and, most importantly, my family. I learned a lot during that time, not just about thyroid cancer, but I also learned that in times of crisis, we're better together. We have all witnessed the power of coming together just this past year. Scientists around the globe collaborated in unprecedented ways to develop the COVID-19 vaccine in record time. Human rights activists took to the streets all over the world to support social justice and equality and people everywhere step up to support small businesses and entrepreneurs in their communities. We're better together. And if we're going to end cancer, it's going to require a team effort. I'm Trey Mancini, infielder for the Baltimore Orioles. Major League Baseball is about teamwork, both on and off the field. As the founding donor of Stand Up to Cancer, MLB has helped build cancer awareness through the iconic placard moment, PSAs, and fundraising events. It's so powerful to see everybody unified, standing up and showing their support. I'm proud to be a part of Major League Baseball, not just as a player, but also as a cancer survivor. My battle with stage three colon cancer was the hardest fight of my life last year, but I'm standing here today as living proof that cancer research saves lives. Let's make it major and knock cancer out of the park. Stand Up to Cancer is thrilled to team up with Major League Baseball to present Bid to End Cancer, an extraordinary auction experience powered by our friends at Heritage Auctions. Go to standuptocancer.org auction to learn how you can participate in a series of auctions featuring everything from signed game-worn jerseys, autographed collectibles, and the ones in a lifetime chance to throw out the first pitch at game four of this year's World Series. Now, tonight is not just about raising money for cancer research and raising cancer awareness. It's also a celebration of survivors. And I'd like to introduce you to Nick Pufani, who's here to share his story. I'm Nick Pufani, husband, father of two great kids and a pancreatic cancer survivor. When I was going through treatment, I promised myself that when I made it through, I would share my story to help inspire others. I'm grateful to be able to keep that promise thanks to the progress in cancer treatment. I'm also proud as a MasterCard employee to stand up with MasterCard because for over 10 years, they've been supporting the research behind new treatments by donating to Stand Up to Cancer on behalf of their cardholders and employees like me and impacting cancer patients. Their donations have saved countless lives and given cancer patients and their families something truly priceless, hope. Katie? Thank you, Nick. And we are thrilled Nick is doing so well. As you all know, cancer has affected so many people. And like countless others, cancer has affected me in a deeply personal way. I lost my husband, Jay, in 1998 to colorectal cancer when he was just 42. And a few years later, my older sister, Emily, died of pancreatic cancer. She was 54. I realized I had to do something. So I joined forces with eight remarkable women, and we launched Stand Up to Cancer with a mission to make every cancer patient a long-term survivor through the power of collaboration, both inside and outside the lab. When Bud Selig and Lou Wolf saw how Stand Up to Cancer brought together scientists and doctors they decided to do the same. They wanted to make sure they were part of Stand Up to Cancer's legacy. And so they founded the Legacy Circle and invited like-minded individuals to join them and support the critically important research of Stand Up to Cancer. We've been fortunate to have committed partners since the beginning of Stand Up to Cancer, including our scientific partner, the American Association for Cancer Research. Without them and the Scientific Advisory Committee, we wouldn't be able to do this life-saving work. Together, they have helped guide our mission and develop our research portfolio. And the work we do through Stand Up to Cancer is inspired by all the incredible scientists, doctors, nurses, caregivers, and patients who champion the fight against cancer. It takes all of us, and of course, all of you. So please, 
Donate now. Hey everyone, I'm Ian Hecox. I'm Shane Ta. And I'm Courtney Miller, and we're Smosh. Like many of you out there, we all know somebody that's been affected by cancer. So we want to do our part to keep those donations rolling in so we can change that. So we thought we'd throw a little party and we'd invite you guys. Yeah, there's no RSVP. It's black tie optional. We just have one simple request. Give. And we're also going to be joined by amazing guests. The party starts as soon as this show ends. Yeah, and we made it super easy for you. Just go to twitch.tv slash smoshgames. In the meantime, buckle up and get ready for some fun and games because together we can make an impact. We'll see you there. A dollar here, a dollar there. It might not seem like much, but all of those dollars add up. Plus, American Airlines, with support from MasterCard, will double the impact of donations for miles made with a MasterCard. Call or go to the Stand Up to Cancer website and join the movement. In times of crisis, we're better together. I'm Matthew McConaughey. Now, I first got involved with Stand Up to Cancer before cancer affected me personally. But shortly after I did, a dear friend and mentor of mine, Penny, was diagnosed. Now, as too many of you know, nothing can really prepare you for that news. One, it's scary. All right? Two, it's overwhelming. The barrage of information, all the numbers, the variables, it's a lot. I did what I could to support my friend the best way I knew how. I asked the hard questions. I got as educated as I could. I learned about the newest treatments. And I tried to walk that tightrope question that we all have of quality versus quantity of life. Sadly, my friend is no longer with us, but I was and still am forever grateful for the time that we did have together. I'm also grateful that there's an organization like Stand Up to Cancer doing the work that needs to be done so we can stop losing so many friends and family members to this damn disease. So, if you can, please donate. Together, this kind of heartache, it can end. Just keep living. The stories we heard tonight from doctors, patients, scientists, and loved ones are just a few examples of the true power of the unstoppable human spirit. On behalf of all of us here, I'd like to thank all of you out there for donating to support life-changing and life-saving research. I wanna send a special thanks to all of tonight's storytellers, and I dedicate this performance to them and to all of the cancer patients and survivors whose courage is an inspiration and a light to us all. Unapologetic, unashamed with it. Times in life I came with it. When the unseen became vivid, of different flesh, same spirit. It's like a lyric by Stevie Wonder. Through inner visions, you can see the wonder. Spent life and time being a runner. Couldn't run from what I seen last summer. Try to understand where we are in time. Looking at the world, keeping God in mind. I know it's a peace, it's hard to find. I went out there and found mine this side. I'm alive on arrival. My life is more than survival. You can live and be live too. That's how heaven will describe you. If you want something real, I'm right here in the flesh, you can take it or not. I'm not claiming, pretending to be what I'm not. I ain't nobody's name. When this world tries to change, who you are The incomparable crazy. Stevie Wonder. Look life 
in the eye, now I see clearer. A kingdom's coming, you can hear it near us. Stay close to the sincerest. Those the ones that become mirrors. Speak no hate, let love hear us. Times I meet is when I was fearless. There's a self I gotta take care of. So with the world, I can truly share love and be a bear of fruit on the planet. Guided steps I don't take for granted. Time is manic, we internalize. Honor that little boy, a little girl inside. Pray these words arise to the ears of angels. We let go of fears that we came through. Change is beautiful as it is painful. The world is yours, don't let it change you. Don't let it change you. I'm not hearing the flesh and you're taking the night. I'm not claiming pretending to be when I'm not. I ain't nobody's angel. When this world tries to change who you are just embrace and stay courageous. To all the survivors and their families, we honor you, we support you, we believe in you, we appreciate you, we love you.